Hello, and welcome back to Storytime with Anne Marie. And thanks for continuing with the series on penguins. Today's story The Penguin Who Wanted to Fly by Catherine Vase. The Penguin Who Wanted to Fly. Flip Flop sat on his favorite thinking rock and looked up at the sky. I wish I could fly, he said to himself. Flip Flop stood up. He looked down at his wings and flapped them. Nothing happened. Flip Flop couldn't fly. That night, Flip Flop had a dream. He dreamed he was flying. It was so quiet and peaceful up there in the starry sky. The next morning, Flip Flop had an idea. He would make himself some wings. Can I help? asked Polar Bear. Flip Flop climbed on top of Polar Bear and flapped his wings. Flip Flop. Flop. Oops, said Flip Flop, but it didn't matter. Flip Flop had another idea. Just the thing, said Flip Flop as he pulled out his special helicopter cap from his dress up trunk. He spun around and around and around and around and around, spinning faster and faster until he spun out of control. Ouch! cried Flip Flop as he flopped to the ground. I feel very dizzy. That night it snowed. In the morning, Flip Flop was very excited. He had thought of another idea. He would build an airplane out of snow, a snowplane. Flip Flop was very pleased with himself as he climbed in. Five, four, three, two, one. He waited for his snowplane to take off and waited and waited. Oh dear, Flip Flop sighed as the sun came out and melted his snow plane. But it didn't matter. Flip Flop had another idea, a better idea. He got a balloon and tied a piece of string to it. The balloon floated upward and so did Flip Flop. I'm flying, said Flip Flop excitedly. I am really flying. And he was, until pop went the balloon, flop went Flip Flop. Poor Flip Flop. I am never going to fly, he cried. Polar Bear gave his friend a hug. Come with me, he said. Polar Bear gave Flip Flop a gentle push down their favorite slide. Whoosh! Flip Flop whizzed down the ice. Whee! I'm flying! squealed Flip Flop. But then, splash! Help! cried Flip Flop as he crashed into the sea. It was very peaceful and quiet down there under the sea. There were lots of fish and other floaty things. Wow, said Flip Flop. This is just like flying. Flip Flop couldn't really fly, but that didn't matter because Flip Flop could swim. In fact, he could swim quite beautifully. The end. Isn't that fun? We all have special gifts and talents and Flip Flop found his. If you like that, hit subscribe and join me again. Storytime with Anne-Marie.